Hello everyone, Nick Jones, Alpha Dog Behaviour. Today I'm going to look at a young male Cocker Spaniel. Uh, this is a very nice dog, the dog is known to me, he's free from behavioural issues but there is one uh, particular area that the owner is still struggling with and this is just being able to let him out into the garden to do his business uh, without him making so much noise and over excitement and I think it's frustrating the owners and you know potentially causing a bit of a, a nuisance so the next few shots will show me in situ looking at this behaviour uh, with the owners and the dog. Is this typical? Okay. And then he's doing his business. So it's quite interesting, it's almost like mindless barking, isn't it? He's not really barking at anything. Yeah. So he's a year old now and he's only been doing this for the last three or four months. Yeah. So with neighbours both sides as well, you can imagine that's a bit frustrating. Here he comes. Right. So I would say, we'll talk about how long you would need to do this for, but as a family, you'll need to be consistent and to not just allow him out, and, because if you do, you're going to fail. What you need to do is to set yourself up for success. So the way to do that will be to use a lead just like this, um, I've got a longer lead there, can you hand me that please? And thank you, and that could be really helpful um, for when you take him out into the garden, okay? Uh, I may or may not use this, let me just put that there for now. Um, so the first step is that when you open the door, at the moment it's just an open and it's a bit like a starting gate, he's out of the blocks and he's just raring to go. So what I'm going to do is just show you a very basic technique of opening and closing the door so he begins to back up and to think, oh, an open door isn't actually just a passport to run out of it. Okay, so I'll, I'll do a bit less talking and a bit more showing. What he'll also do after a, a few of these is maybe look at me or, or back up or, uh, or even sit down, but I won't give him any commands. So we've got to look away there. There's a turn away. Because the point being here is that he's not to go out until I give him the word. Okay, sometimes you'll be staying here later on and saying, okay, or other, in the beginning I want you to go out and then invite him out with you. It will take you a bit more time, but it is sort of the component to overcome it. He licked his lips and he moved away, okay? You may not have seen the licking of the lips from your angle, but that's a submissive indication that he's listening. Okay, so now got an open door and he's just looking at it and again he's licking his lips there okay which is a positive indication so now I've got enough I've created this ability for me to step out and bring him out on my invitation but with him in the right frame of mind which is a much better big yawn that's also a calming signal in light of having a lead on him and me being a bit controlling of the door okay this way Sit. I usually get them to sit and wait and just count inwardly for five seconds. Any coming out, any attempts to come out before I invite, which we had one there, yeah. I'll just come in and block him. Okay? It's not this, it's just this. A bit of shuffling around, blocking him with your legs. Okay? Sit. And because he has a, a nice level of obedience, we can use the sit command. Okay, so I've counted to five. And now we'll give him a new experience. So his experience so far is coming out of here going, whoa, bark, bark, bark. His, we need to show him and train him that the experience of coming out through this door, or indeed any door, would be one of calm control. Those two key words, calm control. Okay, so he's looking at me, he's nice and relaxed. I'll bring my line with me. Come on, come on then. So I think what I would do for a couple of weeks is to walk out with him, toilet him on this lead. I mean, I'm, I'm not inclined to use this, okay? 
Um, and to give him a, do you have a key word for him? Be clean. Okay. okay, so I would you come out and use that key word with him as you come up onto the garden. He's only just had uh, two weeds, as you saw on the video. So you, he's not going to do his business, but the point is, is that this is the, is the calm control. Okay, if you could follow me up, please. Come on, good boy. So as I said, it doesn't matter if he doesn't go, we can't make him toilet. Come on, be clean. But he's not showing any um, actual anxieties out here. I think the barking is plain and simple, habitual. It's just what he does. And it, it, he, he feels a bit, you know, charged up when he's coming out. And I think by addressing it right at the door, that will cut it immediately. Come on, Bailey. Come on. You could be using up here an extendable lead if you sort it out and if he's more likely to toilet a, a bit further away from you. Don't let him drag you around, okay? But that shouldn't be necessary if you are using an extendable lead. So don't allow yourself to be for him to do that. Okay, sit. And uh, we want to do the, the, the similar exercise but coming back in. So you could make the point of shutting the door, excuse me, as you come out, sit, baby, sit, wait, sit, wait. Be careful not to, this is not an exercise in catching the dog's nose. Most dogs are very quick and will back up before you, before you shut the door. Sit. Wait. Now he's thinking. You can see he's thinking. your chances, uh, uh, uh. almost there, it's only because I'm talking that I'm losing the moment, but when you fancy your chances uh, and the door's open enough, step inside the door and face the dog. Hey. Sit. Wait. Wait. And this is about self-control, uh, control of the impulse. Turn and face the dog. Don't put your back to the dog. Lock with your foot, because he's not had the invitation. Count to five. Come on then. Sit. Wait. Wait. Just hold the lead by the very end. That's it. And depend on the door as a blocking process if you need to. Slowly turn him face him when you're ready. Good. Count. Uh, block. Block. Ask him to sit. 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 Baby, sit. Good. Wait. Count to five and then invite him out when you're ready. So this is uh, Bailey practicing his new behaviour in action. He's he's calmly being controlled. This, this is not a big deal whatsoever, and we're we're effectively showing him how to behave in a different way. 
Okay, coming back in, let me shut the door for you, okay. and just, can you remember how I did it? Yes. Okay. Good. Just take your time with this exercise. Beautiful. What Good. a clever boy. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Okay, he's a clever lad. He's a clever lad. So what you can see is that Bailey is a really sweet, biddable dog, uh, perfectly intelligent and perfectly open to doing that simple procedure in a very different way. Um, all it needs is it's just a case of us showing him how we want him to do it. Uh, that will, as I say, involve you yeah. and a bit of time and a bit of effort. Um, but it's a well worth yeah. investment and it will stop it. Okay. Okay? Butter wouldn't melt. Or as a lady in the black country once said to me, uh, a brick wouldn't choke you. <laughs>